All right, you guys, this is Ross, the Fig Boss. I wanted to update you guys on what we just needed to do for our fig trees here that were cut back to six to 12 inches. It's very simple. We've talked a lot about in these other videos, getting enough light to our fig trees. If the figs do not receive the appropriate amount of light, they will not set the fruits. And every variety is a little different. So every variety may need less light or more light than the other. But very simply, I've just come in here, thinned out the number of canes at the base and staked them away from each other. Really went crazy with these four foot long bamboo stakes, tying them to the stakes. It's paid off immensely. If I didn't do this, I wouldn't have fruit. If I didn't thin it all, I wouldn't have fruit. If I didn't stake the branches, I'd probably have a lot less fruit. So this has been a pretty good eye-opening experience for me as I have been really advocating for opening up that light since last year. You can really see since we've done that, a lot of these varieties even have fruits from bottom all the way to top. These, these trees are gonna be covered in fruit given that we can keep up and maintain the same amount of light that they're currently receiving. And as I said, it's really important to give them, you know, one square foot per every fruiting branch. So every fruiting branch is every new branch that you leave on the tree. So when I'm doing this in such a high dense state, because these trees are so close together, I've limited each tree to about four or five and even six shoots from the base. And that's ensuring because now that I'm able to stake these branches away from each other, that's ensuring that they're getting the adequate amount of light. Given the amount of light that they need, they will set the fruits. And this whole argument, this whole thing about hormonal imbalance that I've been sort of playing with the idea of over the past few years, as of right now, it just doesn't make any sense. It's not a hormonal problem that when we cut these trees back to six to 12 inches that they then start to struggle and don't put out fruits. It's not the hormones. Instead, it is a lack of light. So that's the amazing part of figs, guys. You can cut them back to nothing and still get them the fruit. Doesn't get any better than that. That's really giving us a lot more different functions that we can think of and use in the future that uh, really can uh, apply in a whole different bunch of different ways. Who knows what the future of figs is with this knowledge. Thank you.